Hey there. Primary chords in G major, reviewing the G major scale, left hand ascending. Key of G major, key signature has one sharp, which is F sharp. The one chord is G, and then two, three. The four chord is C. The five chord is uh, D7. So the five seven chord is D7, excuse me. And I remembered the sharp, yay. And then the rest of the scale, of course, is uh, six, seven, eight. All right, following chord positions are used for smooth progressions. G, C, D7. G major chord progression with one, four, and five, seven chords. Play several times, four times, saying the chord names and numerals aloud. G, C, G, D7, G. One, four, one, five, seven, Moderate march tempo, 4-4 four, four time. G major scale, of course, because there's one sharp, which is F. We start. Right hand. G, B, D, 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 G, D. B, C, D, D, C, A, G. And I repeat that. Hurrah. And then. Sharp E C E C E D E D G F sharp E C E G D and then we play the first line again. Hurrah! Left hand is. through the motions today. Everything I've done today has been going through the motions in the hope that it'll stop being going through the motions and start being, you know, doing something, uh, you know, being, uh, if not enjoyable, at least something more than simply going through the motions.
about this song and why it's so hard to play from beginning to end without making a mistake. And it's not the same mistake every time. It's a different mistake every single time. Just let me get through this song. You know, I'd like to play it three times at most. So one time without the click and then twice with the click and then move on. That's what I want. That's what I want every day. One time without the click, two times with the click, you know, correctly, and then move on. But no, that's, that's too much to ask after a week of playing this song. So that's the third different mistake. Isn't that wonderful? That's wonderful. I think that's wonderful. It's wonderful. Now this is why you don't sit at the piano when you're going through the motions because it's such a frustrating thing to begin with so you kind of have to um, have a little bit of a cushion because unless things are going super well you know things are clicking you're, you're picking stuff up quickly uh, what's going to happen is your mood's going to start here and then as you mess up and get frustrated, it's going to come down, you know, and then you get a little more frustrated because your mood's a little lower, and then it's just going to come down further. So if you don't have that cushion, and I don't know if you can still see my hand or not, you know, I guess right about there is the limit. Um, if you don't have that cushion to allow for that little bit of downward movement, you're just going to get pissed off and take it out on the piano and stop early or sit and complain ever <laughs> and then so I'm, I'm not playing it loud this is not forte so I'm not even doing it right even if I happen to get the notes and the timing right I'm still I'm not doing it right to begin with because I'm not playing it forte Because it sounds like I'm, I'm playing angry, but I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm on the edge, but I'm not there yet. So that's, that's the one. Two more times. <laughs> Much, or a big part of the problem 
here is uh, because I have played this song so much and despite the fact that I'm still making mistakes uh, I more or less have it memorized to the point where uh, if I look at the music and I try and think about you know what is that note what is that note it messes with my it messes with me to the point you know so I'm playing along the song and I'm not even really following the music anymore so I look at the music and I think well where am I at and then I screw up such a frustrating thing I really, I want to magically be two years down the road, you know, with all the hard work of this level behind me. I know you never, um, you never stop learning, you never stop improving with the piano. There's always something more difficult. There's always something uh, to improve. But this, this this basic stuff, I mean, this is the second scale we've learned. The second scale. And there's, you know. However many there are. <laughs> it's a bunch. Maybe I'm just trying to play too fast. I don't know. it up I'm calling it good because I'm, we're not playing this song all day There probably were a couple, or at least one. Anyway, moving on. Syncopated notes. Notes played between the main beats of the measure and held across the beat are called syncopated notes. Four or four times. We've got one and two and three and four and. The first four are eighth notes. One and two and. So this is the syncopated note because it is tied to a half note. So three and four and. So one and two and three and four and. Hoorah. Moving on. Why am I blue? Which, of course, introduced the natural sign, which cancels a sharp or a flat. And the, a note after a natural sign is always a wacky. Hoorah. Moderately slow blues tempo, four, four time, of course, in G major, meaning the F, all Fs are sharp, unless there's a natural sign, which there are obviously natural signs. Otherwise, why would they introduce it and not use it? Right hand starts with finger three on D or B rather. Have I been playing that wrong the whole time? B, B, not C. So B D B G B D B G B G F sharp F natural natural F 
whatever, F. <laughs> oh, man. Um, D, B, A, G, D, B, A, D, B, A, G, B flat, D, B flat, G, B flat, D, B flat, G, B flat, A, G, B, with a natural sign, D, B, G, R, D, B, A, G, D, B, A, G, C, B, C, B, C, D, B flat, D, oops, no, that's right, B flat, D, B flat, G, B flat, keep tripping over that measure. I, I don't understand. I mean, it is a half a step down. So it's the, the, the key right next to where you're at. Or it's a, it's a full, okay, so it's, it's a, it's a note. It's a, is it a full step? See, I maybe I'm still not even true or truly understanding that. Anyway, G. Yeah, buddy. I guess I, you know, I'm just, I am so not into this right now. Very, very much going through the motions. Very, very much. All right, left hand. Oh, it's mezzo forte with a crescendo and a diminuendo and then a crescendo and then another crescendo on the second time through. Hoorah. So, G. of rest C one two three four one two three four G two three four one two three four five or D seven two three four one two three four that's a C did I say it was a C before or did I say it was an F it's a C in this scale and then G G oops one two Two, release. Back to the beginning. G two three four. G two three four. G two three four. G three rests. C two three four. C two three four. G two three four. G three rests. D seven two.
just I really I don't know I just I don't know Even that, in my current state of mind, I can't figure out, do I need to speed it up or do I need to slow it down to get to where I'm not behind it? Excuse me. So I mean, moderately slow. I don't know, is this moderately slow?
I really don't know. See you again.